Seventh and final day of the Amgen Tour of California, yeah. making its stop in the Good Mountain High Ski right. Resort. Whatever a beautiful guys resort, some of the best skiing in the best. world, and heading to uh, Pasadena, the scene of the Rose Bowl and the Colorado Street iconic bridge. A <laughs> short stage at 77 miles and 125 kilometers by the time they got to the first king of the mountains point at the summit of mount emma there was already a breakaway glowing clear and it was evan huffman of team rally who went over the line in first place the pace was so high the peloton was simply disintegrating just the leaders of this tour all staying together while the right of the front were being led by lachlan morton mechanical in the time trial had cost him dearly he'd lost his white best young riders jersey he was off searching to get it back in the peloton, the white jersey of Mike have been shadowed by the race leader, George Bennett. Well, coming up to the next King of the Mountains point, uh, they were uh, looking to try and uh, consolidate as much as they could on their advantage, but for Evan Hoffman, all he wanted to do was get himself points in the King of the Mountains, and he led his the group over up a big to hunger climb in first place. The yellow jersey group, they were hovering at around about 40 se 45 seconds behind. There was a rather nasty crash on the left of the road there as a Jelly Belly rider hit the road. Checked out his bike. He would get up, but of course he lost his contact with the groups. Heading down towards the Los Angeles area and Pasadena now. Evan Huffman was trying to win points in the mountains while in fact Peter Sagan was just trying to guide them safely in the peloton the high speed as they raced into the outskirts of Pasadena it was just like it had been a few days earlier into Santa Clarita team rally were in control the peloton were closing in and who would win the stage David Lopez Garcia was the rider who opened up the sprint but Evan Huffman took it over as he did on stage four into Santa Clarita he bided his time and once he got the afterburn is really flying uh, with the jet team came up to the finishing line to get himself stage victory number two at this year's Amgen Tour of California. Second place to Garcia and Nicolas Ede of France in third place, but the acceleration to lead the main field home went to Peter Sagan in sixth. Sagan cle cleaning up just a few seconds behind and saluting the crowd, the yellow jersey of George Bennett, the New Zealand rider on Lotto NL Yumbo who has become the first rider from New Zealand to win the Amgen Tour of California. And for him, the first rider on his own career list to win a race at all. But it was all about the ride on the left-hand side of Evan Hoffman and this remarkable performance by Team Rally, who had won two stages as the team that came into this event as a wild card selection. Well, Huffman had a magical week with two stage wins. He finished equal first in the King of the Mountains as well to on countback. That went to Daniel Palomino. George Bennett is going to have to get used to this. He won himself a beautiful Lexus car. <laughs> Third place, Andrew Talansky, the American who made a late challenge and only finished one second behind Micah, who took second place a few seconds behind Bennett. Team Sky uh, were uh, omnipresent throughout the whole of the seven days of racing and walked away with the best team prize. So, as the arena prepared for the onslaught of the U2, George Bennett ran out the winner of the Amgen Tour of California, the 12th edition by 35 seconds over Micah, 36 over Talansky, Brent Bookwalter, third last year, fourth this time around, Ian Boswell in fifth further down, Lachlan Morton, a day long in that breakaway, regained his win in the white jersey competition by finishing seventh, just ahead of his rival, Teo Gigan Hart. Those are all the jerseys. The green California sprint jersey going to Peter Sagan, the white Tagoya jersey to Morton, the yellow to George Bennett, the Palomino has won the Lexus Polkadot, and the most courageous rider of the day, that was Evan Hoffman.